morning, y'all. Y buenos dias. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys chores that a two-year-old can do. And this obviously uh, depends on your child and it also depends on where you live and all kinds of other stuff. But if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. So before I start this video, um, chores can have like a negative connotation to a lot of people. It can make it seem like you're like forcing your kids to do stuff. And by no means is that what I mean in this video. Um, to me, these are just like tasks that will not only benefit your child to learn, but also um, they feel a sense of independence, which is super, super great, especially in those toddler days. So Luna's been doing a lot of these stuff since before she was two and she will continue to do a lot of this stuff. So this is more like a toddler list i guess as opposed to a two-year-old but yeah so um you should never force your kids to do these like in an aggressive way i mean you shouldn't force them period but like you get what i'm saying like don't be rude about it a lot of these things are rooted in being sweet and making it seem like it's fun and it's and it's enjoyable and like you're gonna be like mama you're gonna be like papa you know like trying to frame it in the best sense because just like with adults if things are framed in a good way then you're able to enjoy it a lot more you know if your friends like hey do you want to go on this walk with me and we're gonna uh you know go and do all this as opposed to you need to go walk five miles right now like that doesn't seem as fun <laughs> at all so by framing it in the right way by saying it and also by modeling this behavior, I think that that's the most important part is that you have to do these things too if you ever want to get your kids to get in the same routine and ritual of doing any any of these things. And so I think that that's the most important part is don't make your kids do things that you wouldn't do yourself. And so they're going to see that and they're going to model that behavior, which is why I think it's been so successful with Luna, like with all of these things. She does not because she sees us do it and she does it because she wants to be like us and she does it because she thinks they're fun to do. And so just by framing it in the right way and by also showing that you do it as well can help so 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 much when getting your kids to actually want to do these things so the first one is putting clothes in the hamper so luna absolutely loves this <laughs> and like i mentioned if you're just framing it in the right way you can get your kids to do a lot of things and so she absolutely loves picking up all the clothes and putting them in the hamper the next one is wiping up spills and this one can be really really challenging sometimes because most of the time they're just gonna make it even messier than what it already is but by teaching them that they need to have that sense of responsibility for when they spill something is so so beneficial loading and unloading the dishwasher and this definitely depends on how capable your children are and what kind of things you're putting in the dishwasher a lot uh like i like to put all of our glass things in but she does a lot of the silverware and a lot of her uh like metal containers and stuff so that way she's safe but she absolutely loves both loading and unloading the dishwasher help making the bed this again is kind of like the spills thing it's going to take you like twice as long to fix their bed as opposed to just you doing it but it gives them that sense of responsibility like oh, this is my bed so i have to do my bed and once they get in that routine of seeing you fix your bed and then them fixing their bed they see that that alignment of like ooh, i'm just like my parent picking up after their toys so this goes for toys or art supplies or whatever it is that they like to play with um, by having a set thing like hey these are things that you like to play with you took them out you made this whole commotion and now it's your responsibility to pick them all up and save them in the spot that they go feeding pets if you have pets Abs they absolutely love 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 doing this and this goes for like so many toddlers that i've been around they just like the whole idea of i'm feeding this animal and so with luna she likes feeding both the cat and the dog and Mowgli and just <laughs> doing the bird feeders and all kinds of stuff and so um they have a sense of responsibility for this living creature and also it's something that um can really build on like a fundamental love for these animals as well. So clothes, so putting clothes out of the dryer into the dryer um, and then sorting through stuff. So what we like to do is Luna likes, uh, she'll 
I will put the clothes from the washer into her hand. She likes putting them in the dryer and then she'll, she likes digging in the dryer and taking them all out and then putting them in the room. And so once they're all on the ground, she helps me sort out whose clothes is whose. And so is this mama's and she'll, you know, put that in one pile. Is this papa's and she'll put it in one pile. And then with all of her clothes, we like to save and sort in her room. And so she gets the big pile of clothes and she walks all the way to her room and puts it on the ground. And so this not only is a great activity, just so that they learn responsibility of laundry, but also um, the sorting is really, really fun for them as well. Dusting, this is like the easiest thing and they will love to do it. Uh, we have tons of windows in the house and so she actually has like a Melissa and Doug cleaning thing and it comes with like a duster and a broom and like all kinds of stuff and she loves grabbing her duster and just dusting all the windows. And again, it's not about uh, the quality of their work is more so just getting them into the routine of wanting to do that kind of stuff because uh, I wouldn't hire Luna if if I had to. <laughs> Watering plants. This kind of goes along with the animals. Um, we got a really big plant lately and she loves planta and she always opens up the window for planta to make sure that uh, he's getting enough sunlight and always ask every day you know, if we need a water planta and so um, a plant is actually a really good thing if you don't have pets, um, getting them even a small plant that they can take care of gives them a huge amount of uh, self like success when it comes to stuff like that and so I highly recommend getting a plant for those who don't have pets. And the last one is only applicable if you have other kids but helping out with babies. And so Luna, our little one is still not on earth side yet and so um, we don't really know how that's gonna happen but we've already talked about like all the things that she's gonna do once the baby's here and she's so excited for it like we say you know you're gonna get mama the diapers and you're gonna help uh, put the calcetines on the babies put socks on the babies and all kinds of stuff and so that's another way that they can help out and they feel really useful and they feel really adult like and um, with all of these things it's easier for you to just do it, obviously. That is not even a question. But by taking a little bit of extra time and having them do these things, they not only feel independent, but it's actually helping them develop um, the character for them to be able to succeed um, when these things are their norm and are their daily basis. So yeah, that is it for today's video. As always, if you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. That's Kamanti for watching and I'll talk to y'all later.